just about 20 kilograms is a million dollars. To have this in your grasp, you will have to be very rich, super talented, or dig a deep cave. Blast through a dark tunnel. Persevere through the scorching sun. And brave through the frustrations of meager returns. Or at least, this is the story of the sweat of the sun. It is the rugged frontier of Kakamega County's boundless beauty, affluent in gold. A Roasterman mine three kilometers east of Kakamega town is home to an enormous deposit of gold, the world's most precious and highly sought after mineral. Gold, just the mention of its name, creates the illusion of wealth and generates a sense of power. Over the years, the impact of this prized possession has been evident in the mystery, glamour, and the value now associated with it. Gold is priceless, loosely speaking. If properly mined and exploited, then gold could drive the economy of a country. Its unique yellow pigment that camouflages its high monetary value cuts across all currencies. Just a bar of gold goes up to $1 million. The Roasterman Gold Mine was established in 1935 by a British business firm. Sources say that the company acquired a turnover of 4 billion Kenyan shillings from the venture, a fact that is evident by the ruins that remain in the mining sites. Roasterman was, a, in the 1930s, was a world-class mine, actually. Like in, in, in Kenya, I think it was the only one. So the area in terms of gold is rich because uh, the company which was mining that time, I think they didn't exhaust the, the mining. So the area is still rich and that's why you find people are still going there to, to do mining. The exit of white settlers, however, opened up an interest in exploration of gold deposits left behind to both the locals and small-scale miners in the region. That is in 1964. A dream doesn't become a reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. This citation aptly captures the quest by gold miners at the Roaster Man. The chairman of over 60 Roasterman miners explains that the first step of gold mining is identifying a reef rich in gold, after which the gold mining can commence. geographical part of the place. Alafu identify the reef. If you have identified the reef, you follow the reef. Mpaka penile reef ukutania palechi. When the reef starts widening, ami kianza kwa jiu kubwa. Sasa unapata hapo chini kuna mshiku zingina other reefs. Ule zinakuja zinakutana. Unaanda kusample each and every reef. Ujue which reef is richer than the other. Alafu unaanda kifata the reef and you call it rich na gold. Ambapo kule zote huwa azina dhahabu badi utapata moja ama ndili ndi zina dhahabu. Sasa tunafata ile enyi na dhahabu. Ukisha chimba mawe unaitoa hapo chini, unaileta juu, unaosha, 
or you pan. You must tell me you pan it. After panning, unayaka kwa jua ina dry. Kama ina that, kuna hile mawa kubwa kubwa, unai crash na nyundo kubwa, inakuja into smaller particles. Once this process is through, they are then carried to a crusher that measures the weight and then grinds the rocks into a powder substance. Crusher and I crush into fine powder. Alafu una toka uko. Na unakuja, unaipan. Ukitumia yu sluice box. Ile, ile ninaona, unaweka kumikaka yu in the sluice box. Alafu yu kalaya tundu. Hizo tundu ni kufanya tu ni control maji. Vipi ya ni control maji na mchanga. Mchangi siwe kianda tu yote kipita kwa hizo. Kwa hizo carpets. These are carpets. Unona, unapitisha po na maji. Kuzudi kwamba. These are carpets in those nashika da habu. Wasababu da habu ni mzito kuliko maji. Unapata da habu na baki ya pale. Dongo mugi na nyayi na da habu mingi inapita. Toka pale, ukisha fanya hivyo yote, unasivu. Usivu ni ile kuchunga pole pole kama vile unakipeta wimbi. Pole pole, mpaka unabakia na dhahabu. Iyo dhahabu, unafanya hivyo processing, mpaka unapati ile mchange nyo unasivu ime, dhahabu imeishamu. Catchment is 75 percent. Ambapo na zapatu na lose kitu kama 25 percent. To which unarudia na utaipata tena. Unaiyeka pamoja. Kuiyeka pamoja yuko kwa sababu yuko in powder form. Always you collect rice. Na jukua mercury. Iye ni utumia kwa clinical thermometers hii. Iyo mercury, unaweka hapo kwa sababu mercury in attract gold. Mercury na shika dhahabu, vizuri sana, with other minerals, that is, e.g. ina shika kitu kama red copper, at aluminium. Sasa, hiyo ukicha ishikanisha hivyo, una roast. Unaichoma, mercury na evaporate, alafu gold ina rudisha kala yake. That is not yet pure gold. Tunaifanya kuwa pure, mpaka tuwe na nitric acid. Tuweka ndani, nitric acid itachoma kama kuna silver, ama copper, ama aluminium, any other minerals. Haichomi dhahabu kwa sababu gold ina contain plasticity. Sasa, ukisha maliza hivyo, unabaki na dhahabu ya niko ready for market. Weighing is then done by two flattened bottle tops, balancing on a pencil, and small weights of grams and fractions. But what are the returns? With the minimal technological assistance, the group still manages to get over 150 grams of gold per week. 150 grams. Mm -hmm. Anakupa 3,000 per gram. That is around 450,000. Easy pesa. 
tunazigawa kulingana na vile na vile vile ziko wa ujuzi anapata hiyo na kuna wale wa mkono mtu analipwa 500 shillings per day not so far from this open cast is a tunnel mining site with slightly modern setup the site produces way more than the open cast method the tunnels may be scary but as felix explains the tunnels are perhaps the safest as compared to the open cast counterparts <laughs> In the tunnels, they target the pyrite stone that flats with quartz and gold-bearing rocks. Nona e quartz ho in between two hard rocks. Is in a pyrite. So this pyrite ni naka in between the two. Napata ya ju, alafu kuna ingine chini yake. So for you to re reach this you have to blast. Yeah, ama kuna kuna hii agent yenye una drill. After drilling una unaweka una mix na maji then na mwaga tu kwa hizo shimo. Na crack yenye after 24 hours ukirudi unapata ime crack already. So kazi yako tu ni ku chisel then una toa. Tunakuja na blast hii chini. Then after blasting the hii chini na na chisel tu. Yeah. Na chisel hii na kutoka. Mama hiyo break hiyo yeah. rock breaker. Yeah. Yeye natusaidia then tuko na another machine electric. Hiyo itumi pressure. Electric pia tunatusaidia kutoa hiyo watts. Kama mali hiyo ni hiyo breaker hii kama hapa juu. Hizi fanya tunatumia the other one. So let us now put this into perspective. Geologists have indeed proven that Kakamega County has profitable levels of gold if properly exploited. Mainly this area it is rich in gold. We have only very small amounts of lead and zinc and copper. Very small amounts you cannot you cannot mine for quantities. In, in geological terms, we call them what we call uh, accessory minerals. Lack of government assistance and sufficient funds, sandwiched with the lack of proper mining skills, continues to be the biggest impediment to the success of this particular story. These people that have no, don't have technology, they don't have the know-how, they just hear and they start digging with their, with their gembes in the ground so that they may reach gold. They even don't know if they are throwing the same gold away because they, are, they can't use their naked eyes to actually know that this is gold. The government has recognized the current plight and steps are in place to improve the situation. I think they are not getting the right to share. One, because of the technology. Two, because of the exploitation they are experiencing from middlemen. Uh, and of course three, because of the legislation which has actually been lacking. So there's no, there are no guidelines or standards for, for them even to follow so that they can maximize and get the reaping out of the gold mine. There is a, a new mining policy which is being worked on, the new mining bill, which is not yet ready. Once it is enacted, it should be able to open more avenues for investors to come. We have a, a very old mining act which is now outdated and is a hindrance to most investors when they want to come to invest in this area. So the government is trying as much as possible to uh, flex muscles in where it can and to give as much information as possible because investors want information before they come on the ground. If Roasterman produced gold worth 4 billion in 1935, an equivalent amount at this day and time could fund Kakamega County and its budget for 13 billion for just over 45 years. A single day of observing them at work would give one insight into just how strenuous the work is for them without the right equipment. They endeavor day in, day out in an attempt to finally acquire enough money to buy their own equipment. But as it is for now, it's only done by open cast mining. To go on every farm, 
tunajua tunaweza pata over 1 kg in a month na sasa hiyo itawezesha watu hata unazenua within plots na university kwa vitu mingi sana ambapo community ita benefit that is tuchukue mfano kama shule zetu za hapa karibu unapata zina uhaba wa adimu ambapo tunaweza kutumia the PTA teachers na tuwe tunawalipa kama hospitali unapata kuna drugs kama kuna hospitali yetu hapa karibu Dosero ambapo hata wakati mwingine walikuwa wana dawa kabisa na sisi tunapata kidogo ili bidi tuchipi tuwapeko kitu kama 40000 kwa nyuwe dawa shule za nziko udi pia na pia tunaangalia ku target watoto overseas and orphans pia wa benefit na through education kuanzia last year it was a, in fact tulianza hii last year mwezi wa sita kusema tuna aim hata not in five years in two years time tuwe wenyewe tuna uwezo wa kununua our own equipment ambapo tutahitaji excavator tutahitaji backfiller tutahitaji and all oxygen bags na all things that and calf mining to which it at cost 5.6 m to debt as i'm talking tumekuwa fortunate to raise around not around it is 1.68 m presently na unajua by the relaxation of the year tutakuwa tuna raise mpaka 4 m up then come next year tutakuwa tumebakia na kitu kidogo sana na tuelabs vitu vya kunahitaji hapa na mpango wetu sana sana iko kuwe na a small artisanal mining industry what the mega county wants is to improve uh, the process that has been going on at least to make a change by one uh, sensitizing these people on the best practices of mining gold number two if it's if it can then it also you know brings some technology and uh, that, that will be able to help these particular miners so that they can mine better this gold of course number three the county government is still a bit new in office but it's actually coming up with proper legislation that will be able to guide the whole of this whole business of mining so uh, gold is just but uh, one of them These grounds bear painful memories too. Several are the family members and friends that have gone down and failed to return. Their deaths remain clear in the minds of those who hold them dear. That was the year 2003, March 27th. Kwa pale nani, kwa tunachipa asa, tunapata mawe, na kini ya tunapia sudui, ya udungu ya slide, ya kabari for four of us. Na hapo inabidi pia, tusimamisha kazi, na mpaka pia tuhudi tupata konza antena kwa geologies, ya tuandala, ya tuchukua about four years to parodi. Kudu kufanyi yu kazi pia 2011, Sasiye ikuwa shaft, tukawa tuna generate ya kawaidi hii watapa, generate ya kawaidi ya kumedise, ya petro, kweka kwa shaft, ika kazima, kwa pareti, kitu ya kenda dhani, ikawa unfortunate, kwa ya kongestia tunakaba na oxide, ambapo hindi huwa watapu. 